Well, hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome to my channel, Baba Julie here. This is your January 2020 read. Just cleansing the space here and I've meditated on your cards. Please remember that this is a general read, so take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest. Okay, now without further ado, let's get to your January 2020 read. Okay, <laughs> that's too many cards, but they clearly have lots of messages for you. So please, guardian angels, spirit guides, have patience. Please, spirit guides, guardian angels, please give me a divine message for my beautiful Sagittarians for the January 2020. January 2020 for my beautiful Sagittarians. Whenever I get the feeling that the cards are sticky and they're jumping like this, it feels like they have a lot to say, but I, I can't take it until I've said my prayer. So, whenever you're ready now, thank you, spirit guides. We've got a very fast message there. Ooh, we're coming straight in there with judgment, Sagittarians. Judgment, clarity, a final decision has been made by you. You know, it's almost like you're coming in 2020 with a wake-up call. You are changing. Things are just going to be different for, for January, for 2020 in general. But January is the start, the foundation. And I know that that is something that's general. Everyone says, oh, I'm coming into the new year with new plans, new this, new that. You really mean it. This is about your life's purpose. You're coming straight in, straight off the bat. Boom. Life's purpose. What is it I want? How do I get it? I'm starting and I'm starting now. This is a very fast energy that just came out of the cards there. And you mean business. With January 2020, you mean business. And also I feel like you're divinely guided. The message has come from uh, spirit, from, from the universe and said, what's your life purpose? You need to be clear about this now, Sagittarius. You need to wake up and you need to listen. Clarity. You, you're making a final decision and you bring it straight into 2020. That's the first card. I mean, you can't get a better card than that to start your new year. That's for sure. There's lots of celebration going on there. As you can see, all the people are looking up there at that beautiful angel. Okay. Well, that, that is too many, but I'll take them. The Empress. Woo! Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. We got some amazing cards here, Sagittarius. We got the Empress. Your life purpose, whatever that is. I'm feeling um, it's very fertile, whatever it is. The Empress, she is about creation, huge abundance. Whatever your decision is, is bringing massive abundance. Okay, so you've, you've decided, you've had enough, and you're going for what your life purpose is. You're on the right track, and you're walking forward with purpose. With the Empress card straight there, I mean, it's about getting what it, what you desire there. The abundance is flowing in, creativity, like creation, you know, you're harvesting all your hard work there. That's if you have a look at the card, you can see, you know, she has a harvest beside her and she's she's sitting there in peace because she just knows it's coming to her. And this is not a gender specific read, but you you're basically the fruits of your labor are coming full circle and abundance is coming your way because you made this decision. You've had clarity. You know exactly what it is. That's backed up by the Queen of Swords. Clarity. Your mind has been made up and you know exactly what it is that you want and you're commanding it to you. You know, the Queen of Swords, very feisty person, confident and self-assured knows exactly what she wants and that's the run of the mill for this read so far january 2020 is like you're bursting forward knowing exactly what it is and you're cutting through everything there she's got the sword she's commanding she's just cutting through everything and like don't need that don't need that i want that and that's the energy that you've got coming into 2020 
January, backed up by the star. I mean, oh my gosh, you know, can you have like a more beautiful card to back that up? The star right there is again abundance coming in. It's you know again clarity. You know, it backs up straight underneath the judgment, which is clarity, more clarity. It's just you're being really clear about what it is you want. And you've been doing a lot of thinking over 2019. And now it's like the new year has brought, I don't know, it's like a feistiness, like a hell no, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm doing me. I know exactly what I want. And you're walking straight into it. You know, miracles are coming. Faith has been restored in you. And, you know, you're going to be in the spotlight with what it is you want. I feel this is again... It's a bit like Scorpio, actually. I feel it's like a work read. I feel like it's like abundance. You're manifesting here, which I feel, you know, you've been doing a lot of trying to learn how to manifest things into your life in 2019, but now you've really got the hang of it. You know exactly what you want. You're being really focused and abundance. And, you know, the universe is going to send you a miracle right here. Like material happiness. It's all coming to you. The star is about success there, okay? So if you can see, you're keeping a balance there with the water, but success is, is yours here for the star. And uh, it's an inner clarity. You've been doing a lot of work. And that hope and it, it's coming to fruition. Your faith in yourself is bringing abundance. And I mean, this is really, it's coming in fast for January 2020 for you. Um, for Scorpio, is a little bit slower there. And, uh, but it's fast for you. You know what you want. And you're not hanging around. You're going straight after it. And um, some really big changes, I feel, coming your way. It's like you, you've been building for it this moment. And uh, now is the time to reap those rewards. And uh, you're, you're, not do, you're not taking any other crap, as it were. You're just going straight after what you want there. Sorry, that's again too many. Spirit, okay, thanks. And I feel they want me to stay in that card too. Okay, so we have the Death card and we have the Five of Cups. So the Death card, nothing to worry about. It's a beautiful card actually. Death card symbolizes a uh, change. You know, you, you've made your mind up on something, so we've got a transformation here. Death is always about transforming yourself and, um, you know, big changes coming, the ending of things and, and moving on to something much better to rebirth yourself. Again, a beautiful card for January 2020 because everyone walks into the new year thinking, of the wonderful new changes they're gonna make in their life, but you're really set. You know exactly what you want. So you're not just making the changes and going, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now, but I really need a change here. You know what you want and you're making the changes to make this happen. Because with abundance that's coming your way, it's gonna allow you to make those changes in order to have the life that you want, okay? And um, we've got the Five of Cups here. Now, the Five of Cups, you're, you're looking at like, maybe with all the work that you've been doing, maybe feeling a little bit unloved. Um, I'm feeling like there is a bit of a, a, a loss that you took in, in 2019, something you lost and you feel a bit regretful about it. Um, and you're, you're looking at what it is that you lost here. See those cups are upturned there and everything's spilled out. So you're really grieving uh, that loss there. Um, but what you're not seeing over here is the two wonderful opportunities, the full cups. So remember, as you, you walk into this new energy, not to dwell on the past, okay? Because you have some wonderful opportunities coming your way to change everything. You know, that rebirth, that transformation is coming and it's going to bring wonderful gifts of abundance and new opportunities. So please, don't dwell on the past. Leave 2019 exactly where it is. And that is the energy that I feel you're walking into.
but we all have a tendency to sort of slip back there sometimes. So the cards are telling you, don't look back. Just look around, look behind you, look, look, the, look at the opportunities that you have because they're there and the universe is giving them to you. So don't dwell on that. Um, it's just a little, not a warning, but it's just a, like a little bit of advice from the universe saying, look, all this can be yours. This is where you're at. This is where you're headed because of the changes and the clarity that you've had. Just don't get caught up in this little bit because that could be your barrier. You know, it's the only thing that could really stop you making such big headway. Just remember to, you know, look around for the opportunities because they're there. Don't look in the same spot, otherwise you'll be stuck. And the universe doesn't want that because we can see this beautiful energy that you're having for January 2020, Sagittarius. I mean, it's amazing. You've got the star card, uh, Queen of Swords, the Empress. So much abundance and clarity. It's incredible. And, and having the courage to make the changes and have a rebirth. And it's a graceful change that you're making there. And I feel, you know, it's something you've been working towards for a while. Wow, okay. So we do have um, the Eight of Swords there. So again, I feel it's the universe saying, um, don't get caught up in not seeing where you're really at. You know, the Eight of Swords there, um, she's bound there by the Eight of Swords uh, and the swords are all around her. So it's like a feeling of being stuck, okay? And it's saying that these are all self-imposed. I feel like, you know, you've, you've isolated yourself a little bit to figure out what it is that you want and, you know, to get that clarity. And you, you've been almost like in a hermit mode. You have cut yourself off. But now that the clarity has come, don't get stuck there. So it's again a clarification of this card. Just don't get stuck in that energy because you have such beautiful things coming to you and so many wonderful, incredible opportunities that you don't want to get stuck there. And, you know, with, with this card always, um, she is bound and she has a blindfold on right there. Um, but, you know, she could get out of that, I really feel. You know the the bottom of the binds there they don't look too tight and I feel sometimes I feel we keep ourselves stuck sometimes because we just don't know which way to move but the universe is saying with this energy that that's gonna come through and make those changes for you you know you have so much more to come for you and starting in January 2020 the changes because look what's on its way Queen of Cups Huge abundance is on its way. So take away your self-imposed boundaries. Open up to the giving universe, the energy that they're sending your way, because this is on its way. The Queen of Cups. That's a, a, a amazing support. You know, this is um, nurturing, healing yourself. It is about abundance. Your cup is overflowing. Um, but you've got a lot of support around you. And even though you're making these changes and you might feel like you're on your own a little bit, no, you have lots of support around you. And you, there is a nurturing sort of healing person in your life. I'm feeling like it, it's, it's a woman. This isn't a gender specific reading, but I feel like this person is, um, it's a lady and I feel maybe a Scorpio. So if you have a Scorpio woman in your life, I feel like um, maybe a sister, friend, boss, you know, lover, whatever, I feel like she is going to be a bit of a crutch for you. Someone who's healing, giving a lot of healing energy towards you to make these changes, you know, and supporting you. And it's a wonderful energy, um, but it, it's bringing abundance. She's sitting on a throne there and the angels are guiding her above there and she has wonderful all these wonderful um energies about her the water is a beautiful there we go okay 
Okay, we got three of wands. Okay, teamwork. Expansion, travel. This person's looking out there. Hold his wands. Creativity. Um, again, it comes back to the support. You know, this is teamwork here. Maybe you're working with a Scorpio. Maybe you're partnering with a Scorpio for work. I really feel this is a, a work read. Um, so I'm not seeing like, it's not like a romantic lead there. Um, but I feel like it's a partnership that's going to happen. Teamwork, getting this business, this sort of creativity, this, this idea that's coming into you that's going to bring abundance and success. I feel like maybe you're going to partner with someone there um, or at least get some advice, some support from the Scorpio. Um, but teamwork, you're coming together with people who are going to help you get to where you want to go. So this is what's happening here. I feel it's like expansion. Whatever you do, you're going to expand on it. And it's all happening in January. So the foundations have been laid already, I feel, in 2019. And I feel coming into January 2020, you're starting with that. You know, you're not thinking about it. It's not coming. You're starting with that. You're starting with clarity. You're starting, you're moving forward. You know what you want. Success is coming. Just don't get stuck in that energy of looking at what you lost in maybe 2019. Don't keep yourself stuck because you have so much abundance on its way. So that is a beautiful week so far. Wonderful energies going on there for 2020, January. Let me give me, uh, sorry, spirit guides, please give me a PS for my beautiful Sagittarius. Okay, normally I take one card, but there's a two. Oof. Okay, so we've got a devil as a PS. So that is a Capricorn style card. Um, but the devil, I mean, don't, this, okay, the, the devil could be about obsession. You know, you're in your head. Don't obsess about things. Or some people might be dealing with a, a person who has an addiction or is greedy or, you know, it, basically this card is saying, P.S., you know, don't get hung up with being obsessed about things. Don't overthink the details. Don't, you know, just walk forward in faith. And I feel like... Sagittarius, you, you know, you want to make your money and you're going to be very successful. But just be mindful of greedy people um, or people who uh, want to take advantage of you. If there's anyone, as I said, in your life who's got an addiction or anything, um, keep your boundaries up and, uh, you know, just remember the changes that you've made and what you're working towards obviously help people if they if, if they need it but I really feel some people might be envious of you being so successful here that you have to just be mindful and watch your back a little bit but it was followed by um, the six of swords which is a wonderful card because it's about uh, transformation moving on from troubled waters right here into calm waters right there and being protected by all those swords you're being divinely guided by this person here out of the troubled times so i feel this is like envious people you had some envy around you maybe people you know gossiping about you or, or you know not sending you bad vibes but because you're starting anew and you know where you're going and you're not backing down i feel some people are envious of that and may not be as supportive but you do have this very supportive person here the scorpio um, energy um, but i feel like you've had some eyes on you that haven't maybe wished you well and i feel like you kind of know who these people are uh, in your workplace i feel more than in your friendships i feel it's more in your workplace um, but you're being guided out of that okay so maybe with this new start here um, and this clarity, you're being guided out of that. So um, it's a time of uh, letting go and trusting that you are being 
guided to where you need to be. It's a necessary transition that you're in. Uh, you could be re relocating for work also. Uh, so maybe these envious people will be way behind you because it was behind this card. Um, because it's like a PS, all these people who are envious, you're leaving them behind. Sayonara. This is January 2020 and you're doing you. So uh, goodbye to them now. So again, it relates to this card. Don't concentrate on these spilt cups here. Just look around for the opportunities. Be positive. Keep a positive mindset. January 2020. Because abundance and success is on its way to you. And it's coming pretty fast. Because of the clarity that you, you have. And the creative sort of notions that you have. The trusting your instincts. Um, so yeah, that's a beautiful start to 2020. With your January read there. I'd like to give you a daily guidance from the angels card. These are by Doreen Virtue. Um, I really love her artwork. I'm using two of her decks right now. Um, so can I have some divine guidance for my beautiful Sagittarius for the month of January 2020? I can have one card as a spiritual message, guardian angels, spirit guides. Divine guidance for my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you. You could just give me one card. Thank you. That would be amazing. One card for my Sagittarius. Okay. That's way too many. In my last read, which was for Scorpio, a card came out that said, Slow down. And just before um, I took that card out, I heard the word slow down for my spirit guides. Oh, there we go. Life purpose. Sagittarius, you got the life purpose card. What a beautiful card. Again, it, it's just basically clarifying these cards, which is you know what you want now. You know, you found an idea that's going to lead you to your life purpose right there. The card says the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and to others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. So I guess for those Sagittarians who are searching for a life purpose, uh, this might resonate with you more, but I really feel for Sagittarius in general, I feel like you're coming into January 2020 kind of knowing what it is that you want and kind of going and getting it. I feel there is, there is with this card, a possibility that you're worrying about how do I get to that point of achieving my life purpose, but this card is telling you not to worry about that because it will come to you. You just need to serve others and serve your purpose and then your life purpose will come and serve you. So maybe that's why this card is saying, you know, you feel a bit stuck because maybe you don't know how to start. You're coming in with all this new energy and you know exactly what it is you want and how to, um, where you want to end up. But getting there might make you feel a bit stuck that you're like, oh my God, this is such a big deal. How do, this is such a big journey how do I get there but you will get there because success is on its way and your life purpose will come to you so if I could have one more card for my beautiful Sagittarius thank you spirit guides guardian angels I could have one more card for my beautiful Sagittarius all these cards seem to be in work mode I'm not seeing like I think I'll do a separate read there for love for all the signs because most of the cards are coming in January 2020 with work and money on their mind, life purpose and sorting their business out and their life path. So, and I guess January 2020 or any January coming into a new year, that's what people focus on the most, I guess. So a lot of the reads have been without any sort of romantic mentions, really. Ooh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That one was pretty, pretty big. I just shot right out. Just gonna go get that. So one more. I love this card. Oh gosh, I really love this card. Daydream. 
daydream. I mean, daydream is a form of manifesting. Okay, whenever I'm sitting looking out the window, thinking about things, I'm still manifesting. My brain is still talking to the universe and creating scenarios of what I would love to happen or, you know, sorting out what had happened. So daydream is telling you, you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. Perfect. It's about manifesting, seeing what you really want. Again, about your life purpose, seeing it, feeling it, imagining it as a movie. So you're in it, and then you manifest it. So your, your daily guidance is telling you you have to see your life purpose, feel it, have it as a daydream. You know, sometimes we get really busy and we can't meditate. It's so good for you. So I, I do suggest that you try. And throughout the day, we all have those moments where we go into ourselves and have like 10 minutes of daydreaming. Really see what it is that you want. Your life purpose will come to you in those daydreams. And now I'm using um, the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards, again by Dorian Virtue. I just love them so much. They feel great. I got a great energy when I saw them, so I absolutely have to have them. So if I could have one card as, oh, thank you. Wow. Independent. Now, if there's one thing I know about Sagittarius, it's independence. They certainly have it in spades. So a beautiful card there. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So although it's asking you to remember that your independence is your success, you must know that you are being divinely guided also. Okay? And we have Bast here. Beautiful goddess there. Egyptian surrounded by cats, lots of beautiful golden leaves there. Everything's golden, it's very abundant. Wonderful prosperity beaming from her right there. As these are new cards, I have to look up Bast and see exactly what it is that it says for you. So you get the complete message. Like the cat, you are fiercely independent, yet you also need affection and playful companions. Now is the time to balance your social interactions with solitude. While you may ask others for opinions, ultimately you must make your own decisions. Your freedom and your independence are top priorities, so ensure that these characteristics are nurtured. Spend time alone, give yourself permission to play, ask for your needs to be met, make your own decisions, and pay attention to what it is that the universe is telling you in solitude. Again, beautiful card. Again, is connected to the daydream. So in that 10 minute solitude, you know, see what messages come your way so that you can start this beautiful January 2020 with the strongest of foundations, with your independence, and your life purpose will come to you. You will be successful. You have the beautiful star card right there. Okay? And you have abundance and support and creativity and strength. And you know your way. You will be abundant. So January 2020 is an incredible foundation for that. I'm really loving these cards. Stunning read for you there, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for dropping by and listening. Um, if this did resonate for you, please like and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell at the bottom there. It just lets me know that you enjoyed the read, it resonated with you, and you would like to know when I um, upload the next video for you. So have a beautiful January 2020, and I look forward to reading for you again in uh, the near future. Thank you.